Hi out there in chamber music land, Susan Alexander, online chamber music community evangelist here, socially distancing in the close-in suburbs of Washington, D.C. Some of you might know me from my Jan Kazam help pages or have read my ACMP article on playing chamber music over the internet. I'm going to give you an update on all the cool things I've done since I sent that article in. I hope I can make those of you who are hanging back so jealous of me that you will give this a try. First, some numbers. Okay, counting each piece only once, since April, I've played seven sonatas, 22 piano trios, four piano quartets, four piano quintets, a bunch of art songs, and a smattering of piano four hands. Quite a few of those pieces I'd never played before. I particularly liked getting to know the Haydn trios. I've played 10 of them so far, only 35 more to go. Speaking geographically, I've played with people up and down the East Coast, from Georgia and Tennessee, with neighbors in Virginia and Maryland, and up through New York and Massachusetts. I've been as far west as Colorado. I've made new friendships that I know will persist long after COVID is behind us, and I've reconnected with people I hadn't seen in a long time. When I wrote the article, the Karnak Quartet was just finding its groove. Now we're internationally famous. Well, not really, but we did get to play in the first ever Jam Kazam live stream chamber music festival. That was an extremely cool experience, from the intensive rehearsing to be as ready as possible for a somewhat last minute concert, to our sound check with the CEO of Jam Kazam, David Wilson himself. Our performance even went pretty well, but most importantly, it was a powerful proof of concept. We could see from the festival live chat that people all over the world were having their aha moment at that very instant. This was for real. There was a way they could start playing with each other again. In December, the quartet also did another cool project, a recording of two commissions by area composers for a documentary on a local arts organization that is having a big anniversary this year. We got this gig because we actually had a way to rehearse. We did all of our preparation over Jam Kazam, sometimes joined by the composers, but we did go to the studio for the actual recording session. Since we did not exist as a quartet pre-COVID, this was the first time we had ever been in the same room together. It was great for us to all meet each other in the flesh, even with our masks on. It turned out that it was relatively simple to adjust from virtual to real, and we only had to do a couple of takes to have something decent. When I submitted that article in October, I had no idea whether there would be uptake for Jam Kazam. Finding that ACMP shared a similar vision was really exhilarating. I've enjoyed getting more involved with the organization in this virtual community work. One of my favorite things to do as a technology task force member is to help a Jam Kazam virgin have their very first successful session. Remember that time when you scheduled chamber music for a weeknight? You had really been looking forward to it, but after working all day and barely surviving your commute home, you were depressed and tired. You thought about canceling, but not being able to think of a plausible excuse. You summoned up that last bit of energy and dragged yourself to rehearsal. Two hours later, you were euphoric, life had meaning again, and you were so hopped up you couldn't sleep. Well, when I do an initial session with a Jam Kazam newbie, that's often how it goes. Their expectations tend to be pretty low, but they're willing to be convinced. Maybe. Once we get the gear working and the settings right, they usually say something like, should we try playing a G major scale now? I'm like, no, go get some music. We start to play and the whole dynamic shifts from skepticism to excitement to when can we do this again? I love that. It never gets old. Well, enough of me. If you've already figured it out, you know this technology is miraculous and life-changing. But if you're still procrastinating, set yourself a deadline to get up and running in time for ACMP's worldwide play-in next month. Make me jealous of all the great music you're playing.